K. Ganesh, uh, people are talking about how we are reaching a stage where we promise doorstep deliveries in 10 minutes, but we have no solutions to a recurring problem. Is that not an irony? No, I think uh, this is a big wake up call. I am extremely surprised by uh, some of the comments that this is happening in few hundred meters of Bangalore. It has affected each and every person. People travel from one side of the city, pass through the other place and come there, they are not able to travel. I have been traveling last two days uh, in the areas which are not waterlogged, not in those areas which has got lakes, but the traffic is horrendous because the traffic is getting diverted. Therefore, to be to give excuses and explain saying that it's once in 50 years this kind of water has come and it has happened in other places, I completely disagree. And we are wasting a crisis here. We should wake up, smell the coffee and take steps to correct it. I don't care whether it has not happened in Buffalo or in other, it has happened in other cities in India. This is Bangalore. This is my Bangalore. I've been here last 25 years. Uh, in the recent survey, it has been rated as one of the top six best cities for expats to live in. It has attracted venture capital, the likes of Sequoia Capital and Goldman Sachs more than any other city. 7.2 billion in 2020 came here. We are proud of bang, uh, uh, brand Bangalore. This is the uh, place which we stock with pride. And imagine hmm. the media attract us. I don't blame the media. It's good. Please do it. Hopefully we wake up. One. Point number two. Forget this once in 50 years or twice in 50 years rain. Before that, have you seen the state of the potholes and the road and the traffic? Just forget the last two weeks. Even before that, it is pathetic and shameful road public infrastructure in Bangalore, even with the before last two weeks hmm. and in best of the places across Bangalore, not only in this 600 meters or go anywhere in Bangalore, show me one road. I can tell you one thing. I have traveled in all the cities in India. I have traveled outside nowhere, nowhere, not even in underdeveloped countries. I have seen road and potholes like it is in Bangalore. Shorty work, poor quality work, either, either people have given contract to the lowest price bidder or there is corruption mm -hmm. or this complete lack of capability to make one road withstand normal rain. No road actually survives here. It's less than a kilometer. So All right. I'm speaking so, so that and has, with that aspect and, and, and has with passion. been raised uh, by a lot of people. Now they're talking about the issue of rampant corruption as well.